Okay, well, Johnny went right down. Now maybe we can talk about what you just sprung on me. Uh, about inviting Kelly to dinner? Yeah, why did you do that? I ran into her at Crimson Lights, and I had this great idea. Honey, it's not a great idea. What do you have against dinner with Kelly? Hey, hey, listen to me. I just thought tonight could be the two of us. We opened that really great bottle of wine mm. that we got. We play some music. Oh, that sounds really wonderful. Well, great, let's make that happen. All you have to do is pick up the phone and say, no. Kelly, you can't come over. Kelly, no. No. Listen, just, I can't, I can't cancel on Kelly. It's yes, yes, you can. You certainly no, can. All you have I to can't. do is call and say, you forgot we have plans with Billy, no harm, no foul. Say bye-bye. Yes, but you should have seen her earlier. I mean, we were talking about the holidays and everything, and she looked so lonely. And yeah. besides, even if I wanted to cancel on her, I don't have her number. Unless you do. Why would I have a number? Listen, I'm sure that we'll have a perfectly pleasant evening. Kelly seems like a lovely person. There's something really warm about her, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. And I can see why the two of you have become good friends. Hopefully, she and I can be friends, too. If you and Victor... What's for dinner? How does a uh, chicken from Panko sound? Fine by me. How about I open that bottle of wine? You know, it might uh, help relax everybody. Well, you are really having a problem with Kelly joining us. No, it's just my relationship, my, my association with Kelly is largely based on our being in the same support group. And I don't think we really have anything to talk about outside of that, so, you know. You guys have gone out for a coffee and a drink. Yeah. We mostly talked about kids, you know. Well, I'm sure that we'll find other areas that we have in common. Yeah. Is that her already? She must have gotten the time mixed up. You know what? Let me get it. OK. Hey. Billy, Stitch Rayburn. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. I just didn't expect you. Come in, man. Come in. Hey, Stitch, what uh, what brings you by? This. Oh my gosh, I uh, I didn't even realize it was gone. Ugh. Yeah, it's sitting right on the counter at Crimson Lights. Well, it's a good thing you found it. You didn't have to come all this way to bring it by. It was out of your way. I could have stopped by the hospital to pick it up from you. Wasn't out of the way at all. I was heading to the Burger Beat for dinner. The Burger Beat? Mmm. <laughs> that greasy spoon? Come on, the zucchini poppers are to die for. Yeah, exactly, to die for. You're a doctor. You should know better. I'm also a bachelor, but... Sort of. I, I go where it's convenient. And speaking of which, take it easy, guys. Now, hold up, man. W why don't you join us? Uh, thanks, man. That, that's too much trouble. No, no, not at all. We're just ordering in. Nothing fancy, but it's a step up from Burger Beat. Yes, it is. All right. If you guys are sure. Positive. Come on. We have a friend joining us, so it should be a nice night. Let me take your coat. Stay well. <laughs> If you gentlemen will excuse me, I think I'm going to order our food and um, check on Johnny. How's the little guy doing? Any more rashes? I'm sorry, rashes? My mistake. I, I thought you knew. Uh, I ran into Victoria right before Christmas and Johnny was having an allergic reaction. No, no, it, it was nothing serious. It was the wool sweater he was wearing. We took it off him, gave him some antihistamine, and he was good as new. Kids are so resilient. Yes, yeah, sometimes they are. Sorry about your daughter, man. Hey, thank you. Uh, you got any kids? A son, Max. He's not living here, though. I miss the little rabble razzle. Yeah, I, I take it you and your wife are split up. Yeah. It's not something I talk about. Uh, I really haven't wanted to admit it. I guess there's a uh, part of me is just hoping she would forgive me for something I did. But maybe there are some things in marriage that are unforgivable. Oh, 
that must be Kelly. Kelly? Hey, hey, come on in. I brought dessert. Oh, you shouldn't have, but I'm really glad you did. Uh, we invited a fourth. I hope you don't mind. Kelly Andrews, this is Stitch Rayburn. And, um, of course, you know Billy. Um, I met Stitch through my mother. He's a doctor at Memorial I Hospital. Hello, Ben. Kelly? So, you two know each other. As a matter of fact. Small world, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy tells me congratulations is in order. Excuse me? Your new job with the nonprofit? Oh. Yeah, Pat. I understand that you um, had a lot to do with putting together the foundation in Dee Dee's honor. Isn't that right, Billy? Mm hmm Well, you must find charity work so worthwhile. Yes, I do. It's really not that different than what Stitch does for a living, helping people who can't help themselves. Right, Stitch? Guess you could say that. Please, everybody, sit down and make yourselves comfortable. Billy uh, opened a bottle of wine earlier. Now, for anyone, anything to drink? No, nothing for me. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Okay. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we play a game? Something to break the ice. Everybody's gotten so shy all of a sudden, which is not like Billy at all. I've never known him to be at a loss for words. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Hmm. <laughs> So has something happened? Okay, guys, I am so sorry for being a lousy host. It's just been a while since I've had company, I guess, and a lot of practice. It's understandable. I was just trying to think of some new material so I can entertain you fine people, but then I realized, hey, you haven't even heard my old stuff yet, so you're in luck. Or completely out of it, depending on how you look um, at it. I think I'm gonna pour myself a drink. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I think I'll have one after all. Really? Is wine okay? We have beer too. Uh, or a glass of wine would be great. I'll, I'll give you a hand. Oh no, that's okay. I've got it. I insist. Uh, all right. Well, it's in the kitchen. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. I tried to get out of coming over here, but Victoria wouldn't take no for an answer. Yes, I, know. She'd be very I would make up be, but... an excuse to leave, but I'm afraid that it would look have too to suspicious. Well, how are we going to do that? I can't eat at this point. My stomach Yo, is you enough. need to stop. Stop. You need to just focus on the present. Get it all out of your mind. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just focus on the present. Forgetting has never been easy for me. Okay, look. look we, we, mm, 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 you, you just. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. It just happened. We gave in to the grief, and it happened, and everything happened. It was a big mistake. Yes. It was a mistake, a huge one. But I'm just afraid that. What? 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 What are you afraid of? I am afraid that I won't be able to hide my guilt. What? That all Victoria is going to have to do is take one look at me, and she will figure out that I had sex with you. Oh. Okay, Kelly. You need to take a deep breath. And think logically. There's no way that Victoria's gonna read guilt on your face. Really? How can you be sure? Because she's not a mind reader. Because she's gonna look at you, and she's gonna think there's a lady trying to put her life back together. Well, you heard her before, right? She already senses that something is off. There is a huge leap from sensing something is off to figuring out that you and I did something we're never gonna do again. Maybe it's not as big of a leap as you think, Billy. <laughs> Oh, and dinner's gonna be two, three hours tops. All you have to do is put a smile on your face. Not every once in a while. No one's gonna be the wiser. Well, you know what, Billy? I'm not a very good liar. Look at my hand. It's shaking. Then you put that in your pocket. You tell me you're cold. Tell me you're coming down with something. You tell me anything that you want. And believe me, Victoria's not gonna doubt you. Okay. All right. But you know what? I think you're being a little naive. Trust me. Victoria has no idea. I have no idea about what. 